We interrupt your regular programming to bring you this special AM 1450 live sports broadcast. Baseline drive, left hand or off the glass, and it rolls in and out again. I can't tell you how many times that ball has rolled inside the rim and rolled right back out. I think there's like some magnetic flux in the universe going on. It's at least the third or fourth time that's happened in this game. Yeah. It's pretty funny. I think there's like some... Going to the basket, wild shot. He had genius. He's now yelling at him coming down the court. Meanwhile, the Bears come the other way. Colin Schley with an amazing run. Dylan Bernie up and scores. So if I'm the defender, I take an extra step back from him to give myself more time to recover and just dare him to keep shooting. When in play on, lose and go home. Fourth quarter, playoffs. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Urbana High School, home of the Hawks for some exciting Friday night under the lights in the arena. Boys High School basketball, the Urbana Hawks hosting the undefeated 21-0 Frederick Cadets. My name is Michael Betterich. I'll be doing your play-by-play. -play. Joined here at courtside with Coach Rick Little. Coach, there's a bit of electricity in the air tonight. Last game of the season. Man, last game of the season, like you said, undefeated season on the line for the Frederick Cadets. It doesn't get any more better than this if you're a basketball fan in Frederick County. Yeah, has anybody had an undefeated season yet in boys or girls basketball? Yeah, I was thinking back and trying to look up season records. I do recall, I was very fortunate. I was with Coach Mike Mathis back in 2006, 2007 with the girls program at Walkersville High School. We ran the table undefeated through right. district region playoffs. So it has happened. It's a rarity. I'll tell you what. It, it's one of those things, if you could, you wish you could share it with every player you ever coached because just that sense of walking into the gym knowing every night you have the opportunity to win another basketball game. Of course, you could lose it, but having that solid of a team yes. to be able to run the table, because we know how lucky you need to be too, along with being good. Now, Frederick had a little bit of luck on their end. They had some very tight games early in the season against a walk, tough Walkersville team. A Goretti team almost knocked them off. We watched a couple games where it looked like they were on the verge of losing the game in the third quarter, and then they'd turn it up and turn it on and come out with a big win, which if you looked at the scoreboard, you would have never realized. Yeah. And the one I'm talking about, yeah. especially, was the Linganore game. It, right. You know, Linganore was up eight midway through the third quarter. looked like they were going to take control of that game. And, boy, just Frederick just put it, on, put it to another level. They did. They are that good. And they're so fun to watch defensively. A bunch of athletes just getting after you. You know, not a lot of team height compared to what we're going to see here on the yeah. floor from Urbana. So I'm excited about the coaching matchup, the, you know, moving the chess pieces around and see what Urbana is going to do to defend the athletes of Frederick and conversely what Frederick's going to do to defend the height of Urbana. Yeah, you know, uh, Urbana had Frederick on the ropes at, at home here when we did that game. Uh, uh, that was the third period, and they were up by 11 points. Frederick picked up the pace, specifically Wardlaw. He lit up the scoreboard with a 26-point second-half performance. Yeah, and they have a – Frederick has a number of athletes that are very dangerous, can just go off offensively. So – and they have some great passing. You know, Amante Hill Jr. runs the show as point guard, leads the county in assist, is a solid offensive performer on his own. But, yeah, they're just a fun group to watch play basketball. Yeah, and I went back and read the article in the newspaper about that game, their first matchup, and Coach Cromer even admitted that he thought the Hawks, lost, quote, lost their legs a bit. Well, when you're playing against the athletic ability of the Frederick Cadets, it, you can lose your legs really quick. <laughs> yeah, run and gun, baby. Yeah. Tonight, 
they have the home crowd on their side here at Urbana, but um, they're only they're one and four in their last five games. Yeah, they're kind of limping into the playoffs, and this is even if they don't win tonight, having a good contest. A solid contest is what Coach Cromer is looking for. Yeah, but in all fairness to Urbana, their last five games have begin, been against top five tier teams. And we've talked about this through the season. If you get getting through Frederick County basketball, whether it's the boys' side or the girls' side, you're ready for the playoffs. So, yeah. So a win tonight for Urbana, that would catapult them into the playoffs with confidence. And it would kind of, February would then be a tune up. Right. And not a pattern, and, right? And it, as a coach, that's what you're looking for. Yep. You know, you want your best basketball in March, you know, the last week in February when the regional playoffs start. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm I mean, just excited about getting this and tipped off. But, you know, Frederick, we said this, they've sealed the CMC championship, Burke. They're going to be playing Walkersville next Tuesday for, for the uh, CMC champion title at Hood. Can the Hawks... Pull off the last game season upset here. That's the big question. Yep. We don't need to answer that. We're going to find that out here. Yeah. Rhetorical tonight. question, right? Yeah, absolutely. And great crowd tonight. No girls game for Frederick Urbana. They played last night. So everybody that wants to see this game, they're here, and the gym is filling up quickly. And that means we are going to have some exciting electric basketball here tonight. We'll be back after this break. Center of Life Chiropractic and Pilates, located on Water Street in Thurmont, serving the community since 1993. Center of Life is dedicated to treating the whole you, and not just your, your symptoms, back pain, neck pain, injury, or you just want to improve your mobility and feel healthier. Dr. John Hageman's innovative approach to whole body health is completely unlike anything you have experienced. With convenient hours from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and afternoon hours only on Tuesday from 3 to 7.30 p.m., Center of Life is there for you. Center of Life is closed on weekends and Thursdays. Center of Life accepts all major credit cards and uses the honor system so you pay what you can afford. What an amazing difference they will make in you today. Center of Life, make an adjustment to your life today. Center of Life is a proud sponsor of local high school sports. Jelco Plumbing and Backhoe Service LLC is conveniently located at 108 North Carroll Street in Thurmont with over 40 years of experience in the plumbing industry, celebrating its 10th year serving our community, specializing in all phases of plumbing, including septic installation and repair. The favorite part of our job is meeting new people and knowing that we helped. Jelco Plumbing prides itself on a job well done with pricing that won't flood your budget. Burst pipes, water damage, clogged drains, replacement, remodel, or upgrades. Jelco plumbing services, most major fixtures, faucets, water heaters, sump pumps, and well pumps, and pressure tanks. Calco Plumbing is certified and licensed in Maryland and Pennsylvania. Call them today at 301 9791 That's 301 9791 Emergencies or planned repairs, Kelco Plumbing will go out of their way to explain exactly what needs to be done in simple, easy to understand solutions. When a plumber's work is done, well, everyone is happy. Remember, a good flush beats a full house every time. All right, we are back with you here live, ready to go. Both teams are in the circle for the opening tip-off, and there it goes. Possession goes to Urbana. Now on the right side, a shot from three-point land. Rims in and out. No good. And that's going to be an important aspect for Urbana's game is hitting that long jump shot. Yusef Ali with the shot there. Bounce pass inside to the paint. Turn, five-foot hook shot is good. Coming back the other way, that's David Dorsey, the third. Yeah, leading scorer, or one of the leading scorers for the cadets at 13.7 points per game. Ali to Roach. Roach kicks it out front. Running a weave now. Behind the back, Ali travels. And that's what that harassing half-court defensive the cadets can do to you. Paul's 
create turnovers. Snowden into number 10, the Monty Hill Jr. down on the left side. Wardlaw, he penetrates and whistle. And I think he's got a, there is a foul. So it looks like a shooting foul as the Wardlaw steps to the free throw line. And that's on number 21, Jude Husby, his first. Wardlaw gets the roll. And the front end of that free throw. And the cadets take a 3-0 lead. Got them both. Full court pressure now by Frederick. And on the inbound, they relax the press and go, man. Whoa, Whoa somebody falls down. There's a tie up. At We're seeing jump ball position error to Frederick. So he slipped and fell. Yeah, right? I kind of tripped. It looked like he hit Dorsey's foot. That was he being Jude Husby, he was bringing the ball up on the dribble. And it kind of looked like they caught feet Got inadvertently. Yeah. So no foul calls. Over to Wordlaw. Wordlaw on the right side. Kiata. Back around front, Joaquin Snowden. Ooh. Kiata shoots off the glass and scores. Six unanswered points for the cadets as Hoosby brings it up. Down on the right side to Roach. He dribbles out, Hoosby drives. He pulls up, shoots as it blocked. Frederick comes up with it. Hill down the left side. Top of the key, Snowden on the right side, Wordlaw. Snowden sets a pick. Out front to Dorsey. Baseline drive, kick out. Three-pointer is good. Timeout, Coach Cromer for Urbana. And that's, yeah, that's nine straight unanswered points. And he needs to get his team to settle them down a bit. Yeah. If you you do, if you're going to pull off the upset, you don't start down 9-0. Nine, nine, yeah. That's just not the formula for success right now. And high energy right off the bat for the cadets, not taking this one for granted. So I believe Coach Cromer will come up with a set play, try to get somebody wide open, one of his leading scorers, just to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. Yeah. So on the floor, starting for Urbana is number three, Ali, number four, Roach, number 21, Jude Husby, number 22, Christian Whitehead, number 23, Aaron Schaffner, 6'5", freshman Aaron Schaffner. For the cadets, number three, Elwin Wordlaw, number three, David Dorsey, number 10, Imonte Hill, Number 23, Ivan Cajada, along with number 35, Joaquin Snowden. So to the rim goes Husby, but could not connect. Cleared and quickly down to the other end of the cadets. Oh, big high bounce. Not a, does not find the net. Roach with the defensive rebound and clear. Boom, big shot. Aaron Schaffner, 6'5 freshman, connects on a long range three point shot. So nine to three cadets with five minutes to play here in the first quarter. Oh, driving layup off and then a hustle play, but creates the foul. Number three, David Dorsey with that foul for the cadets. Urbana inbounds the ball. Token man-to-man -man pressure now for the cadets. Oh, 
Nice play by sophomore R.J. Roach. Drives to the hoop. Gets his own miss and banks it in. That foul goes to Urbana. A little too much contact. Number three, Yasif Ali. Second team foul on the Hawks. Quickly around the horn, the cadets setting up their four around one offensive set. 20 on the shot clock. Monte Hill, the left-handed three-point shot off the mark and out of bounds. Ball will go back to the Hawks. Nine to four, 414 to play here in the first quarter. Nine to five, check that. Cadets with the lead. And the ball pressure created and steal by Monte Hill. Driving layup, he loses control and then tips out of bounds. Turnover back to the Hawks. Hoosby to inbound. Right inside to Roach. Roach to Hoosby. Hoosby brings it across. Hands off to Roach. Over on the left side. Schaffner with the ball. Roach, he drives, kicks it out. And it's lost out of bounds. It'll go over to Frederick. Between the legs, Kiata over to Wordlaw. He corrects traffic. They set the pick for Wordlaw. He penetrates, kicks it out in the corner, and a traveling violation on Hill. A lot of turnovers here early. Just the high energy. Team, yep. A lot of, you know, <laughs> adrenaline going on here. We've got a timeout as R.J. Roach has to tie his shoe. Full court pressures being shown by the cadets. And they relax the press as Roach brings it across the right side. And we talked about some of those big fourth quarter comebacks by the cadets. Whitehead. This full court pressure is creating turnovers now in the first quarter, but it wears on you as the game goes on and into that fourth quarter. Lob inside to Dorsey. He turns, goes with the left hander, and scores. And he draws the foul, and Hoosby can't believe it. And, and the back goes on Hoosby. He's coming out. I did. Yes. It's the second foul on Hoosby, and he comes yep. out. Yep. Into the game for Hoosby comes number 24, Aaron Humes. Got it. 13 to five. Frederick. Down the right side. Oh. Feet underneath is stolen by Frederick. Correction, 12 to five. Frederick with the ball out front. And Monty Hill. Word law. He drives, shoots on the run, kicks it out. Off the hands of one of the Hawks, so it'll be Cadets ball. 2.40 to go in the first, 12 to five. Frederick by seven. So just as we've seen in the past games, Frederick's offensive, they like to dribble drive. Ooh, nice play. Knocked Create away. defensive mismatches. Substitutions for Frederick. Dugan leg. Bounce pass inside to Wardlaw. He drives off the double screen. Rifles it back. Dorsey pulls the trigger from three point land and it's short. Roach brings it across for the Hawks. Cross court to swing. Shot from out front, no good. Rebound Frederick. Here comes Frederick pushing it hard. In the corner, baseline pull up, kick out, top of the key, wide open, no good. Loose ball into the crowd, Hawks ball. The 
Dorsey does not miss too many of those. He comes into the nice game shooting 43% from behind the three-point arc. And he was wide open. Yep. Camped out all night above that. Just impressive, that, that six-foot-six frame. Stolen, there's the outlet. The left-hander double pump, and he's fouled. And Doog hits the floor hard, but he'll be rewarded with two shots at the free throw line. And that foul will go to Urbana's Whitehead. So that's his first. But that's four team fouls already on the Hawks, only one on the Cadets. Yep. And you have Husby on the, on the bench with two fouls. He cannot afford to get another starter for Urbana that second foul. CJ misses the front end. He'll shoot one. Got it. Oh, stolen off the trap from the corner. There's the shot in and out. Tip is no good. Put back is no good. The ball's knocked out of bounds. Frederick Ball. Wow. Those young men are above the rim to defend and rebound the basketball. Out front, Kiai. He pulls up. Has a shot partially blocked. Hawks come down with it. Whitehead, out to swing, back out front to Whitehead. To Roach on the left side. Back over here, Caden Swing falls on the ground, has the ball taken right out of his hands, and then a reach in from behind, that's gonna go against Aaron Humes, and he'll get the foul. Coach Cromer biting his tongue over there on the sidelines at the Hawks bench. That's five fouls to one now. And a lot of Urbana Hawks falling down while dribbling the basketball. Word and, law. And no call. Lobbed inside, spin is blocked. Hawks come up with it. Nice play by Whitehead to block that shot. Yep. Leg, nice first move, but Whitehead there defensively. Roach with a step back, it's short. Rebound Dorsey, here come the cadets. Dorsey, he drives. Ooh. He's trips and falls That's and a blocking a foul. foul is called. It's going on Humes, I think. Yep. So that's two on him already. And six team fouls on the Hawks. None to give. Here's the inbound. Lobbed out front to Dorsey, and then come back around. Parker in the game now. Parker goes baseline. Kicks it back out front to Dorsey. He works around the perimeter. Shot from the left side. It's short and hits the stanchion off the top of the rim there. Wordlaw misses the three. Yeah. No movement on the Urbana bench with two fouls on Hume. I don't think Urbana's used to playing deeper than seven players on a regular basis. Roach to swing. Swing guarded hard by Dube. Down to Hume, he loses the handle, gets it back. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Humes drives. He goes up high and can't get it in. The tip is no good. Rebound, Hawks. Off the glass, no good. Whitehead pulls it down. Three-pointer from swing, and he's fouled hard. That's going to go on word law. And it's going to send swing to the free throw line, and Caden will shoot three. And that's the end of the first quarter. We'll see what we got here if we're going to put any time back on the clock. I believe you have to, a couple of seconds. Point three, they put back on the clock. So Caden Swing for the Hawks will shoot three. Right-hander strokes one through.
swing, the five foot ten junior guard came in off the bench and misses the second one. He looks shorter than five foot ten to me. What do you think? <laughs> I think I'm at the top of his hair. He might be. I, I it looks my size. All right, he's got the third one though. So two out of three. And there's the shot, no good Into at the, the buzzer. Rafters. In the rafters, and that's it. Tyler! All right. Sorry about that. We lost our camera. We've got, it's really hard to film these from the crowd. Most of you can see, if you're watching it, you see the tops of the Urbana Hawks' head. All the Urbana fans are standing in the arena throughout the entire game, which makes it really hard to videotape because we're, we're seeing the tops of their heads, and we, we had to elevate the camera as much as we could, but that didn't work. All right. We'll stick with you on this so, one. Foul trouble by Urbana. That could just parlay itself through the rest of the game. We'll see how they navigate through this second quarter. Uh, Humes back into the game with two fouls. Jude Husby remains on the bench. Okay, inbound to Roach in the backcourt. He brings it right. Fires it down to Whitehead. Back to Roach. Trying to get it inside. It's tipped and stolen. Yep. Here comes Hill. Monte Hill with the deflection. Off the screen. Hill drives. He kicks it into the corner. Duke brings it out. Snowden. Back to Duke. Three seconds on the clock. Snowden has it. He pulls up, fires it out front, and that's Got it. it. Shot clock violation. Yep. Really good defensive sequence there by the Hawks. 13 to 7 at the 718 mark of the first half. Rifled inbound to Youssef Ali. He brings it across midcourt. Ali looking for help from Humes. Humes goes to the bucket. He's fouled. So we have a Samuel Humes, number 12, and a Aaron Humes, number 24. Foul on Hill, his first personal. And Samuel will go to the line and shoot two. Got it. Got them both. 13 to nine, Frederick with the lead and the ball at the seven minute mark of the first half. Shot from the corner and it's good. And Ahmad Parker with the tray. They lost him, the Hawks. Roach comes back and he says I can do that too from the top of the key, an NBA style tray. Uh-oh, uh -oh, here we go again. This time in and out, rimmed in and out. He gets his own rebound. Kick out, knocked away. Backcourt violation. Line. Yep. Hawks ball. I think the Hawks try to pick it up if Frederick keeps their hands on the basketball, have switched to his own defensive look, and that's how Parker's find himself open on the backside of his own. His just, last two possessions. Just some great defense being played out here. As Schaffner just takes it hard to the hoop and draws the foul. And that foul will go to number 35 of Frederick Snowden. His first personal. Fourth team foul. Schaffner knocks down the front end.
Hawks could trim it to two right here. And they do. We've got a two-point game in the 618 mark now. Frederick has the ball. A couple starters returning to the lineup. 16 to 14 as Snowden into Hill. Hill bringing it up. Left-handed dribble across midcourt. Hands off to Snowden. Back to Kiata. Bounce pass to Dorsey. He posts up. He drives, penetrates, kick out in the corner, and it's in! Number 23, Ivan Kiata with the three-pointer. Humes with the ball, he goes left side. Back out front, Ali needs help. He gets it from Whitehead. Whitehead to Humes, kick out. Pull the trigger out front, oh, it's too far, rebound, Frederick. Whitehead can't get the drop on the tray. Oh. And then the good D of Urbana knocks it into the Urbana bench, and Frederick commits a turnover. High speed, high energy, and you're gonna make some mistakes with the basketball when you're going at this speed. A lot of contact, there's the whistle and Roach draws the foul. Nice play by Dorsey trying to pick up the charge, but I think the contact and the foul was made before then. Too short on the front end. I think the foul was credited to Wardlow. They haven't put it up on the board yet, but you got that one. Here comes Hill down the right side. Over to Snowden. Dorsey high post. Kick out to the corner. Dorsey wide open, top of the key, in and out. Loose ball tipped up in the air. Ali loses it. Kiata, reverse layup is good. That relentless pressure from the cadets. Roach to the bucket. He stopped. Dorsey rejects Roach at the hoop. Dorsey said, not here, not tonight. Sent that one to the seats. Out front, three-point land, in and out. Way up high off the glass. Whitehead rips it off the boards, but then he falls and travels. Yeah, just a hustle turnover there. Christian Whitehead, great defensive rebound, but I mean offensive rebound, just stumbled and fell when he came down. So timeout, 30 seconds timeout by Hill and the Cadets. We'll be right back. That's why Anytime Fitness is the perfect way to stay in shape. From either home or work, Anytime Fitness of Thermont is always close by, and they're open 24-7. They can tailor a personalized training program to fit your workout needs. Anytime Fitness can also fashion a membership and payment plan that will be flexible enough for your on-the-go lifestyle. You'll love the 24-hour co-ed fitness center with state-of-the-art equipment designed to sculpt and tune you into shape. And when you're away from the Thermont area, your membership guarantees you access to any of the over 1,000 clubs worldwide. Visit us at 130 Frederick Road to start your program today. Now you can stay healthy anytime with Anytime Fitness. All right, we are back live with Hill brings the ball down with 4.31 to go in the first half. The Cadets lead it 21 to 15. Dorsey rifles it over, shot from out front. My goodness, Wardlaw just makes it look easy. Beautiful stroke. Really elevates on that jump shot. Humes off the pick, kicks it out to Whitehead. He goes back over to Schaffner. Roach resets out front. He fakes the three, pulls up and shoots it. It's short, right into the hands of Wardlaw. He goes hot to the basket, kicks it out to Kiata. Snowden pulls the trigger, it's good. So Joaquin Snowden with his first tray of the game. 
Timeout. Timeout. Urbana. 30-second timeout. Just so many weapons. So what was a two-point lead just a couple of minutes ago has now ballooned to an 11-point lead for Frederick. Yeah, and just that know, quickly. Cadets can score in streaks. You know, just looking at the board coming in, like Parker, we already watched him knock down a long-range shot. He averages four points a game. Snowden, who had that three-pointer right there, 2.7 a game. So, yeah, check that, 3.7 a game. Just a lot of offensive weapons here showcasing tonight the cadets. Husby checks back into the game for the Hawks. Full court pressure and bad pass. And out of bounds. Back to the cadets under their own basket. Dorsey on the inbounder, takes the jumper in and out. Roach clears for the Hawks. 3.25 to play here in the second quarter. 26 to 15, the Cadets with the 11 point lead. Whitehead turns the corner. Layup attempt blocked by Dorsey. Rebounded by Snowden and quickly to the other end. And another driving layup by the cadets. Roach, he shoots on the run. No good. Way up high, Wardlaw comes down with it. Down the right side, Wardlaw between the legs. He pulls up and shoots. It's good. 20 uh, footer for Wardlaw. Right now, 15 point lead. 13 unanswered by the Cadets. Pick and roll, Hoosby. He goes hot, pulls up, kicks it out. Into the corner, Schaffner drives. He shoots the runner. No good, rebound, Snowden. Down the left side goes Hill. Shot, there's a and foul in the middle. Foul will go to Christian Whitehead, and I believe that's going to be his second. It is. Now you get the impression, uh, Coach, that Frederick's starting to feel like, you know, they, they, they got they control. They came here to win. Yeah. They're, they're playing to win, and, you know, one of those situations you get in this late in the season with that undefeated, you start to play not to lose. That's not the mindset of what I'm seeing here tonight with this Frederick Cadets team. They're playing to win and they're taking control of this game. Wordlaw to shoot one. 2.02 to go in the half. And he does not get the roll as Hoosby pulls it down. Outlet the swing. Swing down the right side. Roach sets the pick for Hoosby. He goes straight to the hoop. Oh, the right-hander can't go. And here comes Quijada back the other way. From the corner, word law nothing but strings from three-point land. Hoosby tries to take control, loses the ball. Quijada pushes it out front. Word law again, no good. Up in the air, Quijada pulls down the rebound. Back out front to word law, and he calms his team down and says, all right, stop. He turns and looks at Coach Hill, and we've got a timeout on the floor, Frederick. So at what, at what point, why would um, Coach Hill call a timeout in that situation? Get Shot his, clock was running down? No, it was not. It's not. It's at 20. Okay. Get his team to take a breath. Mm -hmm. I mean, this freight train's been rolling now. And like we talked about, it was a two-point game, and now it's 19. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And I think that's why he just asked him on that offensive rebound. Stop. Slow down. Let's take a deep breath. He wants to try to maintain control. All right, a minute 19 to go. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Cadets lead at 34 to 15 and they will inbound at half court. Into Hill in the back court. Up, 
Back out front again. Yep. In and out. Rebound Roach. Yeah, and as good as this team is, Michael, there's only yeah. one senior on the floor for the cadets. It, they're a young team. Yeah, yeah, that's so, scary. You know, Coach Hill coached them through the all these moments. Make him go left. Yep. Make him go left. He only wants to go right. Make him go left, Alan. Down on the left side, Hoosby posts he up. Wants to go right. Roach, he Make goes go left go to the hoop. Shoots at the runner at off the glass, no good. And Urbana's gone cold all of a sudden. And Frederick straight to the hoop, wide open from the corner, in and out. Oh, oh, oh. David Dorsey flushes it with the high slam a jamma off the pop out of the rim. Wow. And the crowd comes to its feet. Offensive rebound. <laughs> Impressive athletic play right there by Dorsey. Traveling violation on Yusef Ali. And Frederick will get the ball right in front of us with 13 yeah. seconds yeah. on the clock. Shot clock should be turned off. Game clock's at 13. Frederick's just going to let it run out. Here comes the high ball screen. They're looking for the lob to Dorsey. Three point shot. That's it, there's the buzzer. The half is over, ladies and gentlemen, with the Frederick Cadets taking a 36 to 15 lead into the dressing room over the Urbana Hawks. We'll be right back after this message for our first half wrap up. News, weather, traffic, school delays and cancellations. At Cool 1450 AM, one of our most important resources is frederickscanner.com. Live traffic cams, weather cams, city and county resources, police, fire and rescue. Anyone living, working or tra traveling in and around Frederick should bookmark frederickscanner.com on their PC or go to their Facebook page and download the mobile app today. frederickscanner.com. A live information window to Frederick County. This can be a busy time of year. Running around getting ready for company, visiting friends, or spending time enjoying family. We are all too familiar with a growing list of errands that need our attention. Gary the Barber knows how busy life can get, and so he makes sure that your convenience and a great haircut are first on his list. Call Gary the Barber today. Gary the Barber has hours to accommodate any busy schedule. 301 305 7895. Hey everyone, Gary the Barber is open for business. Just call 301 305 7895 to make an appointment right away. That's 301 305 7895. Get a great haircut today. All right, we are back with you live at halftime. What an impressive first half performance by the undefeated 21-0 Frederick Cadets year at Urbana High School. Oh, yeah, wow. And, and we talked about this while we were trying to catch our breath through all this. Urbana, midway through that second quarter, had cut it to a two-point game. And then the freight train started for the cadets, and it went from that two-point lead to a 21-point lead, basically on the strength of long-range shooting from the cadets and just super, super defense by the cadets in the half court. Yeah. You know, turning the ball over. You know, the Hawks did have some looks at the rim, but they're rushed because of the cadets' athletic ability and their defensive pressure. It's just, wow, it's a tough combination. And when these cadets are making three-point shots like they are tonight, that's got to be a tough combination to beat. Absolutely. So what do you think Coach Cromer's going to tell his Hawks in the dressing room? 
you got to play one possession at a time. I don't know if you can come back against this team and win from a 21-point deficit, but chip away. If they could get it to 10 to 12 by the end of the third quarter, give themselves a chance. I'm not sure they're the makeup. Come from behind type team, yeah. Right. Yeah. So with a full court pressure and that type of stuff, you know, maybe he'll even switch and play a little bit of his own defense and hope that the cadets don't hit the outside shot at the high rate that they have been because somehow they're going to have to stop those drives that's getting the Abana Hawks in foul trouble. Yeah. That dribble penetration is killing the Hawks yeah. right now. And then when they penetrate, they kick out to wide open shots yeah. from the corner, so, and Wordlaw and Keata are knocking them down. Yeah. So either, either you pick up a foul, or the defense collapses on the drive because they beat the initial defender, and then they kick for the open three. Yeah. Like I said. So if Let's maybe pick your poison, goes, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you if you pick maybe play, play a zone defense, try to contain some of that dribble penetration, mm -hmm. and just make it a three point shooting game. I don't know. I don't know if that'll work, Yeah. but it would be a change of strategy because another 36 points. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll step aside for our halftime break. Uh, we'll be right back. Get our chance. Give us a chance to relax and catch our breath. Thanks for tuning in. Cool Oldies 1450 High School Sports. With locations in Frederick and Mount Airy and our new location in Cockeysville, Maryland, we specialize in high-quality vehicles at low prices. All types of credit, financing, or leasing. You drive away with peace of mind in a vehicle with a high-low sales, six-month, 6,000-mile six warranty. Find out about the high-low difference at one of the leading independent automobile dealers in Maryland. That's Hilo Auto Sales. We look forward to serving you at HiloAutoSales.com. At Thurmont Country Kitchen, one recent diner summed it up perfectly. This place is so good, the words are hard to find. It's a wonderful small town diner with awesome food and great service. Thurmont Country Kitchen is located on Water Street in downtown Thurmont. Open weekdays, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturdays, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sundays, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Remember when Grandma used to say, if you're looking for a great restaurant, follow the locals. And that's exactly what you'll find at Thurmont Country Kitchen. A wonderful mixture of out-of-town guests, travelers up and down Route 15, and the locals who love Country Kitchen's award-winning roasted chicken. Homemade cooking at its finest, with lots of sweets and goodies at the counter to go. Country Kitchen is a great place for birthday parties, meetings, or just to take the family when you're out and about. Their huge menu has something for everybody, and their warm country home atmosphere and small town charm will take you back to simpler times. Thermont Country Kitchen, satisfying and delicious. You'll feel right at home at Thermont Country Kitchen. Thermont Country Kitchen is a proud sponsor of local high school athletics on the radio. We are back with you here live at halftime. I've got a special guest, former Urbana High School head coach, basketball coach, John Cooper. Coop, how you doing? I'm doing well. What do you think about this game so far? It's been a tough first half for the Hawks. Yeah, in order for Urbana to, to be able to stay in this game, they got to be able to shoot the ball well, especially from three, uh, because Frederick, the minute they, the minute Urbana misses, or if they don't, if they turn it over, Frederick's up the, up, up the floor, and that Warlock kid. He got going, I think he had like 10 straight points. And, you know, we're lucky that it's this close because there was three or four shots that were down in and out for Frederick. And conversely, Urbana had a couple of easy buckets that yes. didn't go for them. They got a little cold there in the second quarter. Well, that was Frederick length is bothering it yeah. when they're driving yeah. in there. Yes. You're right, because that happened right after 
uh, Roach had that pass rejected by Dorsey. And I mean, exactly. that was a slap that thing into the stands. That was an ooh and ah. And then Dorsey came back the other way. That and he flushed that dunk yeah, yes. on the rebound. That brought the crowd to their feet. Yeah, but if you watch Frederick, they get the ball up the floor so fast. Yeah. And then they start moving it. I mean, Tay has done a great job. Coach Hill, just these kids buy in. You know, Coach Rick and I were saying during the game that this these guys look more, they don't look like high school kids. They're playing at, at college level right yes, now. Yes, the way they handle the ball. But, you know, I'll tell you, uh, Coach Dave from Urbana, I mean, he, he had two real timely timeouts because it was getting ready to get away from yeah. him. You know, so they're going to have to come out this quarter um, um, fast to get some baskets. Cause All right, Frederick so what is, what is he going to tell them in the dressing room? What do you think Coach Kramer says? Well, I think he's going to tell them to try to drive the ball a little bit more because mm -hmm. they were getting to the basket. Getting they were foul. penetrating, yeah. And they just got to be more sure with the ball because they've had a couple costly turnovers, and when you turn it over against Frederick, they're, they're up, the, up, the, up the floor. All right, thanks, Coach Cooper. Appreciate having you here at halftime. Go watch the game. Enjoy All yourself. All right, thank you. All right, we'll take a quick break. we got about a minute, and we'll be right back. Take care, man. Okay. back here live and we're ready for the third period second half of this action and you know Frederick's been standing on the court for about a minute waiting to play some ball I yeah. think you're right they came to win yeah and coach Hill didn't spend a whole lot of time in the locker room a couple minutes in there got them back out on the floor knocked down a few shots they are anxious to get this thing rolling and get it over with and just as we talked about looks like Urbana now is in a 2-3 zone all right, here come the cadets. Running the weave. Hill with the ball out front. Down on the left side to Wardlaw. They hold it a bit. Quijada looking underneath. Inside to Snowden. He kicks it out. Back into Snowden. Underneath. Reverse layup by Dorsey. Great patience by Dorsey. He pick, actually picked up the loose ball under the basket and then navigated himself around the defense. Reverse layup. Down on the right side, Roach takes a look. Now he shoots. It's short off the front rim. Loose ball, rebound. Frederick comes up with it. Back the White other way. With the pull up tra transition shot. Oh, nice shot there. N individual play by Yasif Ali. Nice turnaround jump shot and back to that 2 3 zone are the Hawks. Cadets working the ball around and the open three. Wordlaw oh, misses Martin. it, rolls off. Shocker with the rebound. Roach brings it across, looking for help to Whitehead. Boosby drives and kicks it out. Roach off the screen. He hands off to Ali, he shoots. Ew, soft little touch. It rattles and drops. And Urbana crowd comes alive. Five straight points. Uh -oh. uh oh. Right down the seam of the zone. Great pass, Dorsey to Snowden, and the two hand flush. Hoosby brings it across. Over to Whitehead. Whitehead between the legs. 
Back to Schaffner. Schaffner to Roach. Ali with the ball. He trips and falls, but it goes right into the hands of Schaffner. And now a shot from Whitehead, no good. Rebound, Kiata. Down the left side, Kiata goes. He kicks it into the corner to Wardlaw. Back to Kiata. And out front to Hill. Hill resets. Moves everybody over to the right side. And then they hit Wardlaw from the wing. He drives a paint. And we've got a foul. Foul on Whitehead. That'll be his third personal. Team's first of the second half. There's the inbound. Kiata from three-point land. Short. Rebound Whitehead. Whitehead brings it up. Over to Hoosby. Hoosby stops. Back to Whitehead. Hoosby takes a look, and he drives, penetrates, kick out to the corner. Whitehead shoots. No good. Rebound Snowden. Snowden over to Hill. Hill, no look to the corner. Kiata shoots, and he drains it from the corner. It's another tray for Kiata. Nice play underneath to Schaffner, but that was great recovery. Who was that came streaking down the court? I think it was Snowden. He has got length. Good hustle back there after the three-point shot by Kahata to stop Out. the transition attempt for the Hawks. Whitehead drives, penetrates, kicks it out. Roach shoots the three. It's good. RJ hits the tray. And here we go. Back to man-to-man -man defense for the Hawks. Wordlaw. They run the weave. Snowden out front. Dorsey, he fakes, drives, and slams it down. Another dunk by David Dorsey. From deep in the right corner, a little ball fake. Got his defender up in the air, and in one dribble, he was under the rim with a two-handed dunk. Schaffner, he penetrates, kicks it out. Ali over to Roach. Roach lobs it inside to Hoosby. He turns, spins, and shoots off the glass and scores. Nice post move there by Hoosby against the shorter Wood Wordlaw. 47-25, Cadets with the lead. Wordlaw off the screen. Back out to Dorsey. Dorsey shoots. Oh, my goodness. He just hits that. They're not missing anything now, Coach. Wordlaw with that deep three. Kind of looking like he was going to roll off the screen from Dorsey, but just rejected the screen and rose up, knocked down that jump. Steal by Kiata. Kiata and Hill. Kiata shoots. It goes on underneath the basket. It hits and comes back out. Here comes Hoosby. He shoots the three. In and out. Whitehead tips it out of bounds, and it's going to be black ball. The cadets will get it. 2.44 to play here in the third quarter. Fast-moving quarter, only one foul called. Very few stoppages due to turnovers also. 50 to 25, Frederick on top. Bounce pass to the right wing. Wordlaw goes down, pulls up and shoots. It's short, rebound Roach. Roach looking, he fires long to Ali. Ali looking for help, back to Roach. Over to Whitehead. Hoosby in the corner. He goes up with it, tries, reverse layup, no good. And Hoosby is fouled, he'll shoot two. Late whistle on that. Yeah. Dorsey's looking like, what? I think it was a whistle because Hoosby hit the deck. Yeah. That's one of those, you know, what we call a sympathy whistle. Yeah, he was a little off balance when he released that. Dorsey might have been riding him a little bit, but that'll be the second personal on David Dorsey. As Hoosby misses the first one, we get wholesale substitutions for the cadets. Canoe Bourne, first time appearance for the cadets, comes in along with Gavin Leg. Oh, in and out. Frederick with the rebound. And CJ Duge. Wordlaw points at his elbow. 
I guess that's a play, huh? That's because it's number 24, Canoe, is a death player. Oh, yeah, today. that's right. Shot by him. Number 24 does not go. So Keanu Boren. For those viewers and listeners at home, there is an interpreter standing right behind, beside Coach DeMonte Hill right now. So when plays are called, he can signal them in. Loose ball, stealing by leg, Wardlaw, he scores. Man, did they get up in the air on that. Wow. Whitehead brings it across. Who's be in the corner? He goes to the bucket. We got a foul and a whistle. This, this cadets team is impressive. I mean, so many offensive weapons, Michael, but they don't rely on their offense. They, they really sell out on defense. Coach Bill has them buying into the, the defensive game plan, and boy, they executed at a high level. So Jude makes the front end, he'll shoot one. And he gets them both. Rebound Boren. Boren on the right side. Parker. Bounce past the leg. Leg sets the pick. Wardlaw drives off and shoots it short, but he gets his own rebound as he follows his own shot. And you just can't, you got to teach that over and over. Too many kids don't do that. That was yeah. beautiful. And they lose the ball out of bounds. It'll be Hawks ball. Yeah, interior pass there just off the mark for the cadets. 40 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Ali out front, off the pick by Humes. Looking for help now, over to Hoosby. Hoosby points, he dribbles, hands off to Schaffner. Schaffner gets in trouble, Hoosby takes a look. He spins, turns, shoots on the run, off balance and makes the basket. Nice offensive move. Goes in left, spins back to the right, leans into the defender and knocks it home. Down to three seconds to go as Wardlaw shoots at the buzzer. It rims in and out, and that's it. We've got three periods in the book with the Frederick Cadex 52, the Urbana Hawks 29. We'll be right back. action case should not be dismissed. This is Matt Stavert with Freedom's Call. The Department of Defense wants to dismiss the case involving 15 U.S. Marine Corps plaintiffs and class members who oppose the COVID shot mandate. But even though the Department of Defense has been required to rescind the shot mandate, Secretary Austin still has the authority to reinstate it at any moment. He also refuses to acknowledge that the rubber stamp denials clearly violated the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Yet in Austin's recent memo, he made it clear that he Quote, we'll continue to promote and encourage COVID-19 vaccination for all service members, close quote. The DOD must be permanently enjoined from retaliating against the service members who submitted a request for religious accommodation. Also, all service members who were punished, demoted, or discharged must be reinstated and their records corrected. Please pray and stay informed at Liberty Council's website, lc.org forward slash military. All right, we are back with you here live at courtside. Eight minutes on the clock, and we're in the fourth. Schaffner, he shoots, it's no good. Up in the air, Ali comes down with it. Straight to the hoop goes Roach, he scores. Great driving layup there by RJ. Leg over to Doog, Doog has it. Cross to Parker, he backs out. Now he drifts down in the left. They set the pick for him, leg on the right side. Hill, bounce pass to Boren. Boren sets the pick. Five on the shot clock. Out 
at the buzzer. We've got a, that's that's just a shot clock violation, correct. Did not. We don't have a buzzer. There's no buzzer or shot clock here, is there? That's, yeah. that's, uh, that's good the referee was so demonstrative with his whistle there, right? Yep. Hoosby goes straight to the hoop, tries to feed Schaffner underneath. No, excuse me, Humes. But it's knocked away out of bounds, and Frederick gets the ball as Boren bounce pass inbound to Hill. Hill down the left side. Over to Bourne. Bourne goes left. They run the weave. They set the double pick. Parker takes a look. Comes out. Now he shoots. It's good. Parker bangs down a tray of beauty. And he made it look easy. In the shocker, we're going to get a foul on Boren. Yep. A little bit too much contact reaching over the shoulder for that pass. Third team foul on the cadets. Cross court to Ali. He drives off the pick. Pulls up and shoots in and out. Loose ball tipped. No good. Rebound Frederick. Doug has it. Doug is mugged in the backcourt, but he gets it across court. No whistle. Humes was fighting hard for that one. Boren. Over to Dug in the corner. Back to Boren. He shoots. Short. Leg with the rebound. Leg pulls it back in. It's no good. Hoosby tries to pull it down, and he does. Rips it away. Outlet to Roach down the right side. He lobs it inside to Schaffner. Schaffner loses the handle right into the hands of Hill. Hill coming hard. Going transition. He, no look to Boren. Born bounce pass, no look, and off the feet of Humes and out of bounds. I'm running out of breath here, Coach. Yeah, it, that, that kind of sums up Urbana's night right there. That was great defensive play. Tipped the ball away from the driving uh, heel who made an entry pass. And then they go over here and yeah. bounces off of two Urbana players. And right off bounds. his shins and out of bounds. Parker from top of the key. No good. Rebound Roach. Roach brings it down. He fires over to Schaffner. Schaffner looking, he pulls up and shoots. It's no good. Loose ball, Ali with the rebound. Hands off to Hoosby. He goes to the bucket. Got a whistle. We got a Rousing foul. foul. And that's gonna send Jude Hoosby to the line once again to shoot two at the 526 mark of this game. No good. Whitehead checks back in for Urbana. And in the game for the cadets is number 21, Jeremiah Burke. The sophomore point guard. And there's the free throw. 55-32, Frederick with the ball. 5-22 in the fourth. Leg sets the pick, shot off the pick. Rebound Whitehead. Whitehead looking long. Brings it across midcourt. Stolen by Parker. Parker to leg. Oh. Boren shoots. And there's a foul. It looks like Boren's going to go to the free throw line now. No, I think that was on the floor, on the rebound. Okay, you're right. right. It is. With a foul from behind. Cadets under the basket with a full 30-second shot clock. Bounce pass outside. Back around the leg. Parker. He calls the play. Drifts left. Bourne sets the pick. Leg looks underneath. Over to Hill. Penetration. Drive. Oh my. We had a meeting of power at the rim. The basketball rim fell down six inches and pop back into position yeah, from the far side right in front of the Frederick bench Jeremiah Burke took off and he had a plan and that plan was to hammer dunk that one Urbana said no way they fouled him 
so he'll shoot two, miss the first. And now Frederick makes an appearance, number 11, Dequami Brown. And, and number for Urbana, number 20, Thierry Pacho. Burke to shoot one. Got it. Boosby. Uh-oh, stolen. No, Whitehead comes up with it. That's amazing. Frederick has a huge lead here, and they're running full court pressure. And no starters on the floor for the cadets. So getting some good minutes for the reserves. Loose ball on the floor. There's a scramble for it. Cadets come up with it. Parker with the ball behind the back. He steps out. Back to Parker. He pulls up, shoots a 20-footer. No good. Rebound, Pachu. Back to Hoosby. Hoosby to Whitehead. Whitehead to Hoosby. Trying to work around for that open bucket. Give and go to, and now whistle underneath. We've got a foul. Foul will go to number 11, to Kwame Brown for the cadets on the floor. As Hoosby was making a pass. 3.58 to go in this game, out front to Hoosby. He goes straight to the basket, falling down, can't convert, and Leg loses it out of bounds as he knocks it away from his own teammate, Bourne. Yeah, just that's the aggressive nature of the cadets. They're going to go after that basketball. So both teams rotating their reserves into the game. Humes, he shoots. Way off. Rebound, Frederick. The only starter on the floor is number 21, Jude Husky, for the Hawks. Brown to Bourne. Bourne to Burke. They run the weave. Straight to the basket. Shot is good. Kwame Brown with the bucket, and he'll go to the free throw line to shoot the N1. 3.26 to go in the game. And Jude checks out. Kaden in and out, pops out. Paretti in for the Hawks. Rebound, Pachu. Down the right side. Swing, has it. Over to Caretti. And he loses the handle. Humes does. Boren dives for it. He picks it up. Over to the leg and timeout. No. Backcourt violation on Frederick. That, that's, I, I'm sorry, that's not a good call. Let him play. Put the whistles away. Let him play. He was not all the way over. Yes, yes. I mean, he was laying on the, on the line. You're the right. The rule is all the way over, a little bit back. He was not all the way over. Again, Underneath. I want Booms, that whole line turns to go and away. shoots. I'm sorry, Michael. I just, I hate that whole midline thing. There's no need for it anymore in today's game. Yeah, I got it. There's a steal by Humes. He goes to the basket and misses it. Uh, oh, they tried to go with the off the basket dunk. Was that on purpose? Was he trying to flip? He passed that back to, to um, Schaffner. Or sorry, no. Humes. Humes to I Humes, think he his was brother. Hanged. Yeah, after, after he got the offensive rebound, he was so far under the backboard that I think he was trying to hand it back. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, there's no quit. Even these reserves are, they're getting after it here. They certainly are. Here comes another one into the game. Number 34, Cohen Welch. He checks in. I, I don't know what's going on, but it's so loud in here, they had to stop the play. Well, the cheerleaders' activity there was uh, out front. Babacar seen between the legs. He kicks it out in the corner. Baseline pull up. Lost out of bounds. Frederick Ball. Stays with the cadets, 30 seconds on the shot clock. 58 to 32, two and a half minutes to play. Out front to Welt. 
Frederick resets now with their bench in. Over to Bourne. Bourne to Burke. Back to Welt. They work around the perimeter. Good ball movement. Straight to the hoop. Stuffed. Rejected by Pachu. Loose ball on the floor. Pachu comes up with it. He hands off to Husby. Another steal by Frederick. Husby punches it away. Frederick gets it back. Jared Husby into the game for the Hawks, along with number 11, Sam Jarrett. Oh, double pump, rear slip, and the putback by Babacar Seen brings the crowd to its feet. Number 32, Stratton Liapis, also in for the Hawks. Let's see, did we get everybody, Michael, that has... I'm trying. For both Stratton Liapis just drove the baseline had it tipped away and out of bounds. Now it's still going back the other way. Ooh. And he misses the dunk. He misses the dunk. And Burke's made at him. What a game. His highlight moment there. And oh, 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 oh. oh, Burke, look at him. Look at him. He knows it. He knows it. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's smiling. They're having a lot of fun here. Having a good today. time. 22 and 0. Wow. Yeah, minute 13 to go, 60 to 32, and the subs are in and they're having fun. No look underneath, is tipped away and stolen. There's a dive for it in the paint. Hawks come up with it. Shot from the corner, it's good! It's good, Caden Caretti. They wave it off. It was all stopped well before that. You couldn't hear it or see it. Oh, The fans boy. are fouled by, foul on the floor. Urbana it, gets the ball underneath there and back. It is so loud in here, even the players can't hear a whistle. There's a block shot on Coretti. Leapis, he guards straight to the basket. Kick out front. Pull up at the key. No good. Off to the right. Rebound number 10, Caden Coretti. He goes and shoots the runner, and it's good! A 20-foot right-handed runner right straight through the net. So these subs are showcasing, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're getting after it. There's no quit. You know, the, the shame of it all is all the Urbana fans, student body, are fouling out, leaving early. But to the cadets' credit and their community, their fan base, they're all staying. That, not That's a one of them is left. The You're right. They're going to celebrate with their team an undefeated regular season. Here it comes. You can hear it. There's a whistle. Yep, they just dribbled out the shot clock. Shot clock violation, 3.3 seconds. And you can expect, we're just going to step aside yep. at the buzzer because there's going to be an eruption in this gym. There it is. A perfect season for the Frederick Cadet boys basketball team. Wow. Yeah, we lost our video feed. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Look, we'll just get out of this one in one piece, Coach. We'll forget the post game. It's just okay. too, it's too much madness around here. And, and we'll see everybody, talk to them yeah. Tuesday night at the CNC right. Championship. Hood College, 5 p.m. tip off for the girls. Yep, and that's Williamsport versus Linganore. And then at 7 o'clock or so, yeah. you, you'll have these undefeated Frederick Cadets against in a rematch with the Walkersville Lions. Oh, from I can't. Early in the season. I can't wait to see that. was a highly contested game. That is going to be one heck of a game. Yep, sure is. Can't wait. Hope you join us. All right, we'll see you, everybody. Have a great weekend. Good night, all. Don't worry. If you can't make it to the game or miss the broadcast, all of our high school sports games are archived and available online at WTHUradio.com in our audio vault.